<laughs> Let me ask you a question. If you have tried this HDR mod that we discovered, this major paint the cactus add-on to reshade to get HDR 10 on games that don't even support it. How many times have you been like, this is amazing. How are these developers missing the opportunity to make their games look phenomenal without performance cost? And I should also say without even working because this is done already. Why can't they just incorporate this to their games? There's no color grading, there's no buying a reference monitor, nothing. This thing is done already, okay? Just call these guys and pay them money or something so they can add it to your, to your game. I don't know, <laughs> okay? There is no additional work and it just blows my mind. Look at this thing. This is a, an indie game. This is not, you know, a big budget AAA title. And I opened this with the Major Pain the Cactus. And I'm like, this is one of the best HDR scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> so the game itself, you know, the, 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 this example right here, you are inside a cave so you have perfect blacks everywhere you have this fire which is beautiful okay and then you have all this you see all these things that i don't know this particle effects or whatever it is is as bright as possible look at the graph here this all these points here are pushing the brightness and the fire too this looks phenomenal <laughs> How the developers miss this opportunity? It don't support HDR. It doesn't matter if it's an indie developer. This is already done. <laughs> Just it. it would, I don't know how long it would take for these developers to implement the HDR in their games with the settings toggle or something. It might be thirty minutes of work. Maybe I am underestimating this, but it, sh it shouldn't cost. I mean, it took me <laughs> two minutes to add it because it's already done. This work is already done by Lilium, by, you know, Pumbo, this major pain, the cactus. Uh, I don't know how long it would take to incorporate that to the game so people don't have to install Reshade or whatever. And some people don't know about this thing. So a lot of people just open the game and they they're gonna use whatever they have available in the game, okay? And it's such a shame, man, because this just looks phenomenal. <laughs> so it's like this scene right here was artistically <laughs> envisioned for the best HDR ever. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. A cave with a fire <laughs> full of particle effects that are as bright as possible, like, it's just a missed opportunity. Look at the color saturation. We have this CIP3, so all this fire, it seems like it is popping. If it's not the fire, it's something else. We can, you know, we can actually find out <laughs> by just changing this to highlight, you know, what the colors are. Basically, like a color space analysis. Show color space map. And we can see it here. What are the HDR colors, basically? You see here, all this yellow thing? This is the CIP3, 23, 24% of what's on screen right now. These are HDR colors right here. So this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, and I see this time and time again. I opened Robocop and I was like, man, the game looks nice aside from those you know, the issue with the noise, um, it was looking like very noisy uh, on the floor and stuff, but the, the game looks very good, it looks sharp. And the HDR with this major paint the cactus is like, wow, fantastic, perfect black floor, you know, perfect highlight, so I can use HDIG here, and it's just flawless. And again, why are you including ray tracing and all of that, no HDR support? It doesn't make sense, really. It just doesn't make any sense because 
anyone with a high-end gaming PC <laughs> to push ray tracing, it most likely has an HDR display. I mean, how many monitors you can buy today, even LCD monitors, that they don't support HDR at all? Probably none. Only like very cheap office monitors. So anyone with a PC buys a monitor today, that monitor is going to have HDR. So I just don't, don't understand. Especially when the work is already done. This work is done already. If you are a game developer, <laughs> let me know. I mean, someone said the other day, um, I, don't, I don't know if it's true. Uh, and maybe it is. <laughs> someone said that he's following the channel and he's a game developer and he was in charge of the HDR uh, department or something like that. For one of the games that I was uh, showcasing. So if you are a game developer, let me know if this is something that you can use in your game. Or if it's not even necessary. This is Unreal Engine. You can just activate the HDR from Unreal Engine. But I'm not going to say that's, that's going to be perfect. Because sometimes we have you know black level rays and a bunch of issues. But with this method... There are no issues. You see it on the graph here. This is absolutely flawless HDR. Perfect black floor, no crushing, perfect highlights. All these light sources are popping ferociously and it is just done. No color grading, nothing. This is done already. There's no, you don't have to pay an employee to work on HDR. <laughs> this is done. Is this possible to copy? Is my question. Can you just copy this thing? And if that's the case, why we don't see this copy on every single game? On, on Real Engine games, at least. I am expecting nothing. Like, it has to be flawless. On Real Engine game with HDR right now, it cannot be worse than this. It has to be better, if anything. So if they decide to work on it, maybe they will make it better. They will add some more details and stuff, uh, which is possible. But I don't, I, I mean, it doesn't get a lot better than this. It's just look at the graph. It's just absolutely perfect. So, yeah. And it can make your game, even if it's an indie game, it can make your game look fantastic without performance cost. So, yeah, I just opened this game. I'm going to give it a try. If I like it, I might make a video. I have to say... With the latest Unreal Engine games that I've tested, I am actually surprised with how good they are looking. This one, I don't have an opinion yet. And the thing is, it doesn't even support uh, DLSS. It doesn't support upscaling FSR. Um, it, it doesn't have ray tracing or none of that. Um, so the performance is, is good so far. I mean, it's just the beginning of the game. So I need to play it to, to give you an opinion. But I have to say that this latest, the Robocop game that I tested, this um you know talos something too i forgot the name i haven't played it yet but it was they were looking sharp so they at least they were pushing ray tracing but they looked sharp no blurry and man that gives me a lot of hope because maybe unreal engine 5 already fixed that issue I don't know why some of the games pushing ray tracing before are so blurry looking. So that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, even Lords of the Fallen is looking blurry. Uh, so I don't know, man. It depends on the developers. I just don't understand why some games look very sharp, very good, and why others are looking blurry. I, I just don't, don't understand. So yeah, if you know, if you're a game developer, let me know um, what is that they have to do to make sure it looks good. Because, yeah, that's my, my worst nightmare is imagining Black Myth Wukong, which is the game that I really want to play <laughs> in 2024, looking like a blurry mess. Like Lord of the Fallen, again, it looks blurry. It doesn't look great. And the performance is trash. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Again, which, which games have you tested with these things? And you've been like, this is like the sign to have HDR. Why not? And why do they don't 
just use this thing? Like, have you thought about the same? Maybe I am missing something, but I think that if this is so easy to get working now, why don't we have like HDR on every single game? And why don't we have flawless HDR on every single game like this? This is just absolutely perfect. Okay, why not flawless? Why do why do I have to analyze the HDR on the games to see if the black level is raised or if it has a color ugly color fit filter or whatever? Why? This should be a given because it's, look at it, it's perfect already. <laughs> and I didn't work on it. I didn't have to analyze it, nothing. I just got this mod, that's it, done. It's perfect. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.